This video is for anybody going through a hard time right now. I know myself has been in this position in the past, and I wanted to share this with you using a reference from Demon Slayer, just because I know that a lot of us, um, myself included, have felt like this is just a never-ending pain that we're going through. And it's like, when is this suffering going to end? When am I going to get out of this? Like, this is just painful. It's just, this is what happens when we grow. And I want to give you an analogy that you can relate to your own life, because there was an, a show that popped up on my uh, YouTube homepage called Forged in Fire, but I figured you wouldn't understand that reference as much as like say a Demon Slayer reference, but the same principle applies because they are both being forged in fire. So basically in Demon Slayer, the katanas that are used to defeat the demons have to be forged by the swordsmith. And I don't know if you guys know, or if you know the temperature at which a sword is able to, like a Japanese katana is able to be forged and how much heat that it has to have within a furnace. And this is so that the heat within that sword can be able to be molded and shaped and sharpened into the way that it needs to so that it can defeat the demons or cut like through bamboo or any sort of like enemy or fortress or whatever it may be within like its itself. So that temperature is between 1,382 degrees Fahrenheit and 1,562 degrees Fahrenheit or 750 degrees Celsius and 850 degrees Celsius. So you have to imagine how hot that is. Water boils at Wow, I should know this. 320 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe, or something like that. So it's just like, it's absolutely, you have to go through this heat. You have to go through this pressure if you truly want to be a great work of art. And I understand how challenging it can be at times. Like I've been in the fire. I've been in the forge for, it feels like forever. And it's sometimes like I want to get tossed back into like the washer or the forge and like keep getting burnt. And there's a certain point where it's just like you have been in there and now you start to mold yourself and you start to craft yourself and you start to like, create this new identity of this new individual this new person that you've been working so hard to become over the past five six years or just where you're starting right now it could be you're just like getting a little taste of like that temperature a little taste here and there a little a little a little snippet or whatever it may be i know that's where i've been i know that's the things that i've done like when i would go on hikes or i'd go like in the mountains and i'd meditate and i'd sit on a rock and i'd give up anime and i'd give up all these different things which i'll make a video on that here in the next couple of days i'd say as well too it's just like we have to be willing to go into that forge. If you want to grow, if you want to become anything great, you have to be willing to let the, the, the bad burn off. It's kind of like a phoenix in Harry Potter where like if you see Harry and the phoenix, like the phoenix has to rise from the ashes near the end. It's like we have to be willing to let those aspects of ourselves go. You can also look out at nature. I don't know how many of you go out and sit out in nature or if you're close to like a forest or anything like that, but like you can imagine a forest, like a forest has to be burnt down to a crisp in order for new life to come to be. It's the same concept for yourself as well too. You have to be willing to <clears throat> step into that hot temperature, into that burning, excruciating temperature, because what you become on the outside is something that you've never been before. It's something that you didn't even imagine that you could be. And yet in the process, it's excruciating, it's painful, it's terrifying. It's just like, is anything, is this, is this pain, is this heat ever going to stop? Is this ever going to exist? And then even after like you're out of the heat, you still have to be hit with a hammer over and over and over again. And then sometimes you put back into the fire so that then you can get hot again. And then you're hit again with a hammer over and over until you're crafted into this weapon that can be used for good. At least that's what I'm hoping that you guys are doing is you're going off and doing good with this information that I'm giving you and not like going off and doing evil things because those aren't the type of people that I want listening to my videos in the first place and with the energies and things that I've talked about in other past videos in all likelihood that it's not the type of person that is watching my videos. Just want to lay that out there though. But it's just like you have to be willing to have that heat. And if you're wanting on like practical advice or practical lessons that you can use to have this said heat, if you're like, well, hey, where do I start to be able to like want to like have a little bit of taste? I would say depends on where you're at depends on where you're at in your journey depends on where you want to go in your journey because everybody has different goals everybody has different ambitions like first off i'd have you identify like what do you want what are you aiming towards and then once you figure out what you're aiming towards you can figure out how much heat needs to be applied to yourself to be able to craft the type of weapon that you're wanting to become because like katanas they require more heat than say like a military sword does or then like a baton does or some sort of like chisel or hammer or whatever it may be like each and every weapon is going to determine a different amount of heat so it depends on what 
type of goal you have and what type of goal you're wanting to obtain on whether or not like how much heat you're going to have to use and where you need to start. If you can figure out those things, then from there, I can give you a little bit more guidance on like, okay, well, you'd want to take like, what's, what's the one step that you could take today? Like what's one thing that you don't like doing that the person that you want to become would do and then do that said thing takes some time it takes some reflection but like if you can just do one thing don't overwhelm yourself i know i've overwhelmed myself i put myself in too much fire from time to time and that's why i recommend like doing what i do now which is like just focus on one thing at a time one thing at a time one video one conversation one step one bite whatever it may be one thought one idea focus on that one thing at once and then mold yourself into the person that you want to you just have to understand that it's going to take some time. There's going to have to be some beating, some battering. Like we can even think back when like Hazuzi, well, Haz, Hazakan, I can't pronounce Japanese names. It's the dude that was sharpening, sharpening like um, the blade at the end when like the water demon guy in the last season was like hitting him and everything like that. Like he had focus on just getting that blade to be absolutely perfect for Tanjiro. Like that was his main objective, his main goal. So you figure out what your main goal is, where you want to go, and then just start making those small incremental steps and realizing that sometimes you're going to have to be put in the fire. And when you are put in the fire, it's for a good reason. It's to help you become braver, more capable, stronger, and more willing to stand up to the adversities that are going to be coming your way because you're crafting and creating the man that you want to be. And I was listening to this interview and then I'll leave you after this is there's a frame that you can use that I am going to start using as well too, where it's just like, if I was to make the man I wanted to be, what would I put that man through? And I was like, that's interesting. And a couple of things that I myself have put myself through, like voluntarily is loneliness, like self-isolation basically i put myself through physical and mental torture like riding my bike 70 plus miles going on runs a half marathon run with barely any training like i trained maybe five miles or so never really did much more than that and then i ended up going and running 13 miles because i knew that that's something that the man that i wanted to be would be able to do same thing with like lifting weights going to the gym doing like deadlifts of lifting 500 pounds or squatting 425 or benching 300. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just saying that like, these are things that I myself have done because I, this is the type of man that I have to be in the things that I have to put myself through in order to overcome certain adversities and challenges. Cause I understand that like with greatness comes great responsibility. And that's kind of, um, Spider-Man quote, why not? We'll toss that in there, but it's just like, I have to go through these things. And if you aren't willing to put yourself through like the temperature, through the pain, through the torture, you're never going to be the type of person that you want to be. It's just a fact. And I say that because I have put myself through lots of things because I figured like if I can bear this one thing, I can bear anything. Running, biking, lifting, self-induced isolation, like I was saying, reading, educating, trials and tra trials and errors so like maybe i'm going out and i want to talk with girls or whatever it is it's like okay i'll go out to the bar and i'll go up and approach this person oh, okay that wasn't a great open like let's reanalyze that before i go to bed and like rechange the story and form it in the way that i need it to be formed and i would do those things over and over and over again and another prime example is like yesterday when i was on my bike ride i was riding my bike and i ended up like seeing this one dude in the parking lot where I was going and I wanted to give him a high five, just a random stranger, never even knew the dude and he didn't miss. And then when I came up on this turn, like I didn't turn very well in the exact way that I needed to. And I ended up crashing and I got a big welt on my hip and it just didn't feel great. Kind of busted up a little bit of my elbow on my left side as well too. Everything else though was like perfect. My watch got a little busted up as well too. And then my handlebars on my bike also got bent up a little bit. But other than that, like that could be considered a failure and I could be upset and I could be frustrated at that or i could use it as like you know what this is something that happens like i can cry and i can sit here and i can be like oh woe is me like oh this is terrible or i can be like oh there's a lesson here i've talked about that in a couple of other episodes of rick and morty that i've done as well too or just like sometimes we fail and something's not going to look it, it could look like a failure to maybe you or to an outsider but to me i saw it more as an opportunity it's like this is teaching me something where it's just like regardless of how many times i fall i'm going to continue to get back up and i believe i talked about that on the video with um kuma and how he turned he's able to turn suffering into strength so if you haven't checked that video out i'd ha happily 
I'd re recommend going and checking that out. I mean, the video title right now is suffering leads to happiness. So I checked that one out. Um, but basically it's like, you have to be willing to get back up over and over and over again. And there's a quote that I want to read to you as well too, is like, it's, it's, I guess more of a Japanese proverb is you fall seven times and you stand up eight or you fall eight times and you stand up nine. Like you just have to keep staying up regardless of the heat, the torture, the pain, the suffering that seems to be like in your path, because there is going to be that one day where something just clicks within your mind and something's going to come. And it's because you decided to stay in the fire. You decided to keep going in and being like remolded and reshaped and realchemized and reformed into the type of person that you want to become. Cause it's like to be the man I desire to be, I have to craft him daily. Not always quick wins, not always wins, some fail failures, some crashes, lots of persistence and grit is the thing that have, has gotten me to where I've gotten to this point. It's always about being persistently consistent. Some days are great. I feel on top of the world. Other days are kind of like today where my back hurts, my hips all busted up. I feel like a strain of muscle on some of the bench press that I was doing with dumbbells. I didn't engage my lats, but it's just like, that's not going to stop me from lifting. That's not going to stop me from say selling or making an income or retiring my mom or doing all these great things that I want to do in life. And I share these things to hopefully inspire you to go do this. I know it's going to make some people envious that I say like these things, but that's not my responsibility. My responsibility isn't to make you feel a certain way. My responsibility is to share my thoughts and my experiences with you to help you get off of your ass, to help you get off, to help you go do something that you didn't originally think you could do using say examples from like animes such as Demon Slayer, which is coming out with the new season here in a couple of days, depending on when I release this video. It's just like understanding that suffering leads to happiness. And that most, most of the time, actually all the time, like I've, once I reach that goal, there's like an empty feeling. It's like, Oh, okay. Like I did it. And you can uh, imagine this from like, you're graduating from college or something like that. I was talking with this dude at the gym the other day too, where he's graduating from college tomorrow. Um, and he was telling me, he's like, it hasn't really hit him yet. And I didn't really want to kind of, I don't know. I didn't want to ruin the surprise and be like, dude, the feeling doesn't change. Like you, you reach the goal and then you just go to something else. Like that's how it was. Like when I graduated from college, maybe you felt the same thing from high school. Like you graduate from high school because I know not everybody graduates from college. It's just like you finish and it's just like, okay, well now what? Where do I go? Like what happens? And you feel kind of empty. It was kind of the same concept a little bit that I had not so much with my sales job or the job that I was in beforehand. It was more a matter of like, I just wasn't being treated fairly. And I saw what was possible with hard work, determination, grit, and like just solving people's problems basically. So I want to do that more in a way that I found to be more meaningful and passionate and impactful to you guys and plus i just enjoy watching anime and tvs and inspiring you to go do and live your life in the way that you want to so i keep doing these videos and i'll keep doing them because i keep going into the fire to be shifted and molded into the person that i need to be so that hopefully you can go do the exact same thing and maybe you already are i know i've received comp comments from several of you which i'm entirely grateful for for like how you, you've felt this impact or like you see different ways and ideas in the same way that i do and i'm like this is just absolutely fantastic and i want to keep sharing these ideas i want to keep growing with you every single day so that we can build like a community of strong weebs and otakus and individuals who like want to do more than just like watch anime who want to go out and like say exercise and become the best that they want to be and maybe make businesses if that's what you want or like scale or become healthy and fit, stop playing video games all the time. Like actually have meaning and purpose instead of just like living in your mom's basement or living at home with your parents. Nothing wrong with that. I understand how that can be in today's day and age. It's just like you have to go within the fire and acquire these new skills that I provide to you in my videos. And once you see these skills, you can start to stack them on top of one another. And then you can stop blaming everybody else for your circumstances and realize that it's been you this whole time. You've been the one that's standing in your way. You've been the one that's been either voluntarily putting yourself in the fire or not voluntarily putting yourself in the fire. And I have found that it's better to run towards the discomfort than away from the discomfort. Sure, there may be times in my life where it's not great. And there's certain times where it's like, I don't want to do this thing or I don't want to feel this emotion or I don't want to like go down this path. But it's like, that's the path that I've chosen to go down. And in order for me to become the man that I truly know I can be, I have to put that man that I am right now into certain situations that will make him stronger, that will make him more willing to like overcome adversities or trials or tribulations or be molded into the weapon that he needs to be. So that then he can defeat all the enemies that stand within his path, which 
when we think about it, the only enemy that really stands within our path is ourself. I've talked about that in other videos. I'm not going to touch on that today per se. It's just a matter of like understanding that you get to decide what you want in life. It's your choice. It's your life. You get to determine how much you work, how much you don't work, what value you provide, what value you don't provide. I'm not telling you like not to work hard and not to have a work ethic and not to go into the fire because it's been one of the most amazing things that I've ever done is going in the fire. If you go in the fire, I'd love to know what you're like going after. Like you can comment that down below because I know all of us are working towards something. At least that's my hope with the people that are coming back to my videos and are making it this far. Clearly you and I, we do think the same. We are on the same path. We're having the same impact. We're growing together and we're just evolving with time. So if that's something that you are interested in or like you're doing right now, I'm proud of you, man. I am incredibly proud of you because it's not easy. It's not easy going against the grain. It's not easy going against what everybody else has always told you. It's not easy voluntarily putting yourself in the fire because most people that I know that I've talked with, they wouldn't voluntarily put themselves in the fire of like a 1500 degree fire to be able to be crafted into the sword that they want to be come. I've only been able to acquire these things from other individuals such as myself, like me listening to other people like myself on the internet. And that's how I've been able to grow instead of like people around me in my own small little community. And that's the great part about the internet is we get to connect with so many other like-minded individuals that seem to have the same passion or wanting to learn the same things as us, which I absolutely love and like adore. So all I can say is like, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'm entirely grateful for you making it to this point in the video as well too. And I just want to say thank you. It's wonderful seeing the amount of traction and views that we're getting on the videos as of lately never like before i could barely even break 10 videos 10 views on a video when i first published it now it's like i'm getting a couple hundred which i'm grateful for and i can only thank you guys for that because clearly the information that i'm talking about and the information that i'm sharing with you you are finding valuable and you are finding insights into it which i'm assuming you're then using it to apply to your life or you're sharing it with other friends or whatever it may be. And even if it's just planting like little seeds in your subconscious mind, that works for me as well too. Wonderful. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening. Looking forward to the new season of Demon Slayer that is coming out here soon, or maybe it's already out depending on when I post this video. Otherwise, I will talk with you in the next either Rick and Morty episode or My Hero Academia or maybe another one come down the road. And if you have any other animes that you think would be worthwhile or that have lessons that you're interested in learning, let me know that as well. I know I just gave you like four or five things to comment down below. Um, I just feel like it'd be cool to understand some different concepts or you can message me on discord and I'm working on, um, doing like a viewer interview as well on the channel. So if you're interested in that, click the link down below, go to discord, send me a DM or a PM, whichever way, I don't know what it is called on discord and then we'll set up a time that works best for the both of us and we'll go forward from there otherwise i'll chat with you in the next video wish you a good rest of your day evening afternoon and i'll see you soon